Okay, I was just about to do the intro. Hey everyone, Solar Primal here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. This part, we're getting interrupted immediately. Literally after I just spoke to my Pokemon. But that's fine, it's fine. Uh, last part we got to Mahogany Town, but instead of continuing on with that, I actually want to give a little powwow for Mount Mortar here. Yes. I went ahead and battled all of those lovely trainers over there. And I also restocked on some items because I figured why the heck not. So I want us to start back at the beginning of Mount Morta here because I looked it up just because it was something I never really bothered looking up before. But essentially, I really should get those apricorns, but whatever. Essentially, we can do a huge loop. So this is the beginning right here, so let's jump right in. And... So, follow me, if you will. Make our way into this little tunnel. Back when I was saying, like, oh my god, we have so many choices. We do. But, one of the choices I'm going to make is actually go this way. And I don't think I got the Pokemon that I need strength for here. Shit. Okay, I'm back. Now, instead of actually getting Husky Mango, I figured I might as well teach Claps strength, because good stab damage from it, so why the hell not? Alright, so what we want to do is kind of want to have this out. We'll do something there. Let's see. And nothing so far. Oh, we're getting warmer. But that's not the item it's talking about there. There's a different item somewhere, probably, maybe. Oh. Damn, it's up there. Alright, never mind then. I guess we're not gonna get it. That's fine. It's fine. Let's see, we got another escape rope here, and I don't think we can do anything right now going that way, so we're just not going to. Got a trainer up there, and then we're just back in a complete circle. I'm gonna battle this trainer, just cause, why the hell not? Hey, he. <laughs> hey, he. <laughs> God. It's spelled Hugh, so it's, he's trying to say Hugh. Unless he thinks my name is Hugh, but he'd be severely mistaken. Speaking of severely mistaken, I got the wrong Pokemon out here. You know what? Screw it. Let's give it a shot. I know this is not going to do a lot, but I like the level difference. Yay, and I got burned? Yay? Oh good, now oh, that one knows Curse still. I mean, its attack is already half, so I mean it's not a bad thing for me, but its defense did go up, so this might take a little longer, and it's probably going to hurt me with more unless it just can't keep doing curse, which I'm also okay with, because then I can just keep hitting it, and it won't hurt me at all. In fact, this might actually take it out with the burn. Yeah, I think it's fine. Oh no, you lowered my attack. Oh no. Goodbye. <laughs> what a sad way to go. Oh yeah, fun. You got burned. I mistake you for someone else. Okay, maybe you actually thought I was named Hugh. That's fun. Oh, hi, mother. What is it now? Let me guess. Yeah. Also, off screen. I picked up about four different items from the department store, thanks to my mother, because I apparently I apparently forgot to pick up a few of those things, so yeah, how about that? Okay, so we could battle this guy too, but I will do that in maybe at the end, because what we want to do next is follow this ladder that's over here. There we go. Just like following your nose, you know what I'm saying? We got... Yeah, 
we got a sense of ether. Making progress. Most of you are too young to understand that reference. Ooh, I feel old. Let's see. Let's go down here. What do we got down here? Another pathway. I think I was here before. But let's see. Pretty sure I was here before. Oh yeah, I'm at this side of it again. Okay, so we want to get back to the middle portion. I should have battled that trainer there, but... Oh well. Maybe I'll get to it again some other time. So we want this one right here. Right here, right now. So, this is only one way to go when you go down here. And this is a whole little bit of exploration. I think I was in here, I don't remember. I feel like I was. It's just it feels very very familiar. No items there. Unumas. Hey, a follow sir. That's useful. It is very useful. In fact I am known to use it from time to time. Because my Pokemon can get fucked up. Not my fault, I swear. And nothing. Okay. Now we got a fork in the pathway here, so let's have a gander which way we should go. There's an item over there! Eh, eh, give me the item. Ugh. There we go. Max Ether. That is pretty fantastic. There's another item up the other way. We must get it. We're just hunting for items, and I put up the repel so that we wouldn't run into any other Pokemon! Oh, speaking of which. Cool. Let's see. There might be an item nearby, but that's kind of hard to tell. Not on this patch of land, that's for sure. Maybe it's up this way. We should go that way. What's down this way? I think it's the way out, basically. Oh, no, it's another item. Cool. Alright, one sec. Okay, so let's go ahead, keep exploring, because I think our way out is actually that little set of stairs that we saw there. Uh, well, okay, we could also go that way, but that's just a big old Dane circle. I don't want to take a big old Dane circle. Forget circles. Oh, something here? Ooh, an Ultra Ball. Cool. I'll, I'll take it. Anything else? No. Okay. Let's make our way north. Well, north-ish. Northwest, I guess. Because north would be going the other way. Huh. Interesting. I don't know if you heard that glitch just now. But basically, the surf music didn't end right away because I got the item, so it got it stuck playing for a little bit. So it had two layers of music going on, and at three at one point because of the item catch. Hmm. Neat. Now, I don't know if this actually works, because I'm looking at it and yeah, so we're stuck. We have to go through there another way sometime, so this is the way out, essentially. So it's pretty much all we can do, for now at least, but we'll see. I think that is because we need another HM to continue on with exploring around here. And plus certain things in here kind of will trigger once we do that. Up north of where I just was, there was a, uh, where do I put it, a waterfall? So, we don't have something for that yet, which might be another HM, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, tap, tap, poke, poke, what's this, Facebook? Anyways, I want to battle that one dude that we saw earlier, and that might be it for Mount Mortar for now. Hey, you. I'm not losing this time. I guess he implied that he loses a lot. And so be it. Let's see what you got. Ooh, you got Nidoking! I love Nidoking. 
I think No King is the bee's knees. He's got a little kneecap. Or, you know, knee, uh, whatever. As some of you that might know, when I did my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play, I rolled with a Nido King, which proved to be a little difficult for the first couple badges, but you know what? I made it work. And they were pretty awesome. That one wasn't, you know, on par with what I consider awesome, but it's okay. It's fine. Ooh, you got the Nido Queen too? Shoot. I just want to give Klops some uh, time in the light. Because I want Klops to start leveling up a little bit over the course of the next few videos. Let's see what we can do. Could try Strength. I'm just curious how much more damage it does. It's definitely stronger than Scratch, despite me having Technician. I mean, not having Technician right now. Technician when this Apom evolves. Sure. That's what I meant. Lots of sun, kid! Yeah. And you dress up like a non-existent Pokemon. So who's the bigger dumbass now? Dick. Anyways. Let's get out of here. That guy didn't leave a good taste in my mouth. Oh, uh, that sounded wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that to come out that way. Or did I? <laughs> Alright. Oh, good timing for that repel to wear off. Alright. Alright, so, now that we're back in Mahogany Town, I think we're going to end off the episode for now, and then in the next part, guys, we're actually going to figure out what this old man was talking about, which, if you don't remember, he was talking about some weird radio waves, and then other people around town are talking about Team Rocket actually being at Lake Rage, which is just north of here. So, next part, that's what we're going to do. Until then, you guys. This is Solar Primal signing out, and bye for now. Another one.